Thank you, Andy. Or You're should welcome. I call you Popeye? <laughs> a symphony of green in that lovely jumper there, with the gold hair and the green thing. We should call him uh, Gold as Green. Hello, and welcome to breathless day three of What's Your Story? But before we give you the episode, I'd just like to talk to you about the telephone calls. Now, as you know, the number is 021 432 5432. If you live outside Birmingham, you really must dial the 021. Because if you don't dial that, you've got the wrong number. And you might get someone out of their bath and uh, they'll be dripping on the phone listening to you telling them your story. Very confusing. Or you might get someone who's ironing and they're going, <laughs> and the answer, Psst, ah, it'd be very dangerous. So remember, 021. Now, the names, not yet, be quiet. I haven't spoke, we haven't got to the, uh, the end of the episode. Now, the names of today's uh, contributors are as follows. Watch them go down the side of my head. Sadly, we can't get everyone in the programme. But here are a few ideas, wonderful ideas, that we haven't been able to get in. One is from Peter Christian, age 16. He said, the boy takes off his belt and uses it to escape. Well, we tried that in rehearsals, but uh, the actor's trousers fell down, so that was censored. Another one here from Brenda Sweet, age 13, from Birmingham. She says, I would not like anyone to get hurt. Oh, Brenda, I would vote for you for Prime Minister any day. And we also received two calls from Holland. Well, all I can say is Dankevel and uh, Believer Bellin. I hope I've said that correctly. And we had some complaints from Bolton that uh, they couldn't get through. Or well, maybe you should move to Holland. And now, <laughs> Louisa Bickard, age 11, from Maidstone, Kent. She just rang up to say, I don't know what happens the next day. I just want to watch. Well, for you, Louisa, and for everyone else who's watching, We'll recap the story. As you remember, Stephen and Laura were guided through an old tin mine by Quint. They were looking for Laura's father. Then they came to a brick wall, and on that brick wall there was a sign. When Laura touched that sign, the brick wall disintegrated, and they discovered a sinister corridor. They went through, and there was Laura's father's coat. And inside the coat, she found a, so, a stone similar to the one from the cottage. When she put the two stones together, Laura's father's face appeared on a wall. And he entreated them, please, please, find me. But before they could do anything, they were captured by aliens and imprisoned. In the prison, they met an old friend of Laura's father. Meanwhile, Quint was taken somewhere else where he learned that the stones were a means of power for the aliens to drive their spacecraft. Fearing for his own life, he told them that Stephen and Laura had stolen the stones. And now, this is what you wanted to happen next. I just can't believe that they're going to leave us in here forever. Oh, no, probably not. Well, there were some others, but uh, they never came back. Other prisoners? Oh, I don't like to think of myself as a prisoner. It's so depressing, don't you know? No, I much prefer to think of myself as a house guest. Well, if this was a house, it would be condemned. Was my father here? Uh, not here. Not exactly. Oh, it's so confusing. You see, oh, you must think it very remiss of me, but I, I don't remember. I'm terribly sorry. Don't worry. Has anyone ever escaped? Oh. Now you're really asking something. Well, there's always a first time. Well, I admire your spirit. Yes, well, the question is how. Let's see. Give me that rope. Certainly. Next question is where we're going to attach it to. That looks like a possibility. There we are, young man. Right. Here goes. Ah! I'm so sorry that I can't offer you any refreshment. What are you doing? I'm just going to wrap this round here. What are you doing? I'm going to see if I can knock this beam out. Ah! That was a silly idea. What are we going to do? Give up. No, no, no. There's no need for that. You know, I've been thinking. Oh, really? 
It's a bit of a long shot. But, look, come here. See that uh, lever on the wall? Well, it operates this cage, you know, raises it up. All we have to do is push it. <laughs> it's as easy as that, is it? But how? Well, with this. I was a pretty neat off-spinner in my young days. But I don't know if my eye's still in. Do you think you can hit it? Well, or die in the attempt, eh? Ah, go on, up the way. And there's a breathless hush in the close tonight. Well done! Oh, careful, careful. Well, that's as good as it ever was, eh? All right, off you go. Well, come on! Oh, no, 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 I'd only slow you down. Come on! We can't leave it out here. No, don't worry about me. Go! No! Oh, no! Oh, no! Go! Go! That was a close one, if you see what I mean. You can say that again. Yes, but what are we going to do now? Lie low for a bit. Oh, I shouldn't think they'll give up looking for you that easy. It's not you they want, it's a stone. It's a stone? Yes, it seems this stone of yours is used to power this whole place. Without it, they're, they're finished, if you get my meaning. Perhaps we should give one of them to them. No. Why? But we needed both of them to make my father appear. If we part with one of them, we, we may never find him. Perhaps you're right. What are we going to do? Well, as far as they're concerned, you're just a load of rubbish. See, they need the stone to power them away to their back to their own planet. Hmm. Now, now, hmm. I might know a way to help us out by using a bit of play acting. But how do you know all this? Ah, you see, I had occasion to try a bit of deceiving on a couple of others a bit of time back. Hmm. Well, what's the plan, then? I think we might make use of this. Oh, don't worry, they can't see me, because I'm not in the story. So, Quint had an idea. But Stephen and Laura had no idea that earlier he had tried to betray them to the aliens. Can they trust him? Can we? They have no choice. Wait a minute. Where are you taking those prisoners? Uh... They're supposed to be going to reprogramming. Of course. I'm, uh, taking them to reprogram right away. Well, get on with it then. 
Wait a minute. You're going the wrong way. Of huh. course I am. I was there. I was just testing you. Don't get me wrong. It's not the road building that gets me down. Oh, no. It's all the marching. I mean, the roads, they have to be straight. Through the mountains, through the rivers, through the little, um, little wood thingies. The copses, that's it. Through everything. Well, that's all right. That's no trouble. It's all the marching. It's all Caesar's fault. Vini, Vidi, Vici, he says. What you on about, I says. It's all Greek to me. <laughs> and that Adrian, he's no better. Call himself a builder? <laughs> What's that war all about anyway? <laughs> they told me he was trying to build a house, but he couldn't do corners. <laughs> I have made many sacrifices, but I know my heart is pure. What about those Britons? Go home, they says. Go home? Listen, I says. I was born here. My mother was a Pict. Will we be safe in there? What I don't understand is where we are. We're trapped on an alien spacecraft. Crashed here a thousand years ago. Came from a galaxy a thousand light years away. So they had to travel in time. Unfortunately, it broke down. And time within here now means nothing. We are literally, as it were, trapped in time. You will notice other people from history. Unfortunate people who wandered here unawares, trapped forever, frozen in a time bubble. How do you know this? Just a lucky guess. <laughs> I'm ready. My heart has nothing to fear. I am ready to meet my maker. Mind you, the wages aren't bad. If you like salt. So how do we get out of here? That's another question. Stephen, it's the symbol again. Yes. Yes. It is a sign, isn't it? You believe in the stones, don't you? Stones? Yes. Yes, you believe, don't oh, you? Do you mean? Yes. Yes, the stones. You do believe. You I mean... know you believe. Please. You were wondering how to get out of a time trap, laddie. Where are we? Elizabethan England. You catch on fast. But who's she? Shall we try another lucky guess? Well? How does a witch grab you? Next. Phone us on 021 432 5432.